Hey, what's up, motherfuckers? Um, I got back from the gym a couple hours ago. Um, I just want to recap what's been going on. I'm trying out the mic, so we're going to see how this works. I don't know. Hello? I'm going to try out the mic and see how it works. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yo, killer workout. Yeah, man, just did a back day. Get some of those angles going. Get some of those angles. Did a nice back day, very solid back day. I uh, just hit the plates, hit one plate on the deadlift, then hit two plates, then hit two plates again. I did like 10 reps, 10 reps, and then like six reps on the last one. So I'm, I'm not as good as I wanted to be, but that's okay. Then I went downstairs and I got on the pull down machine. I just fucking just pushed my life into that shit. You know, I literally just pushed my life into that shit. And that was really successful. Like, I don't know. I haven't felt, I haven't felt that good about the, the pull down machine in a while. I don't know. I always find on like my, my lifts, like I always have one exercise that like trumps with the rest of the exercises. I don't know if you guys feel that, but like what I'm saying is like, if I do like a chest day, I'll go in there guns blazing and maybe my my seated shoulder press is like just better than ever and i hit prs and shit you know and then there's other times i go in there and uh then i hit uh but then my bench is not as good as it usually is you know and then vice versa like sometimes it's the opposite like my bench is just amazing but the shoulder press is lacking you know what I mean? And I can't really predict what's going to be good and what's not going to be good. But I just I just go with the flow. But yeah, today I did the pull downs. So just fucking. I try to keep good formation. Like I try to just keep my back straight and pull it down. But I was giving it a bit of a. I was rocking a bit, you know, which I don't think is that offensive. Like. I don't think rocking a bit is going to ruin my, my physique. Some guys like fucking, you know, like jump, like they're like bouncing up and down when they're doing it. And I don't, I don't aim to do that, you know? And then anyways, I went over to the, just the rowing machine, I guess. The one you just pull back. And I did, I almost did the full stack. I did like 98% of the stack. So it was like two two uh slabs left two slabs of iron left but i'm gonna get that shit next week i know i'm gonna get that shit next week man i know but yeah then i came home um i bought some ground beef i made a subway you know the marinara sauce sandwich the subway sandwich meatball sandwich is what i'm trying to say i made one of those sandwiches and boy, did I, I felt so good, man. I don't know. Every time I have one of those sandwiches, would you shut the fuck up? Excuse me. Every time I have one of those sandwiches, I just feel so, so, uh, so uh, satiated. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like the bread and the, the meat. Then I put some queso on top, which is cheese. Down here in Mexico, they call it queso. Queso de Oaxaca. That's what they call it. Say, hola, amigo. Quiero queso de Oaxaca, por favor. That's why I go to the bodega and I say that shit. I call it a bodega just to look cool. It's called a store. But I'm going to say bodega just to fuck with people. But anyways, I hope, hopefully this mic is working out. I don't know. I'm on the fence about this thing, man. It makes my voice a bit thin, which I don't like. But I can do this stuff. You know, I could... I could sit back here and still make the video because my my voice is projecting. Sorry, my voice doesn't need to project. You know, it's just like it's just like here. It's different when when I'm talking to the the actual phone. I need to project my voice. But I don't know. Like I see Sam so like he uses that Rode one. Rode. I have a Rode mic. I have a Rode mic. It's not a phone mic, though. It's for the computer. It's like a big, clunky mic, but it's for, like, actual recordings. I was using that a bit for, like, voiceovers and shit. But now I just put music. I think the music is good. 
I don't need to remind people every time I, I work out, like, oh, this is what I'm doing, you know. People get the point, what I'm doing. But, uh, but no, yeah, that road mic looks good, but it's like, I don't know, it's like a hundred bucks. You know? I'm just a cheap fuck, man. I'm just one cheap fuck. But th I guess this is okay. Hopefully the audio is okay. But anyways, um... Yeah, I decided to make that meatball sandwich just because recently I've been eating like, like my go-to is just like eating a hamburger all the time. And I just feel like there's too much sodium, you know what I mean? Like my stomach is like, ugh. My stomach doesn't like all that sodium that I'm putting into my body. And then, then I start mentally, I start just to feel a bit more lethargic and stuff, you know, like it affects me a lot. So I'm trying to balance it out a bit, like buy some fresh beef. With no added preservatives, no bullshit. Down here in Mexico, all the all the beef and stuff and the chicken, it's all fresh. Like they just take it from the farm, take it from the ranch, drive it into the city, sell it, drive back to the ranch, kill a chicken, you know, fuck that chicken up, take the chicken, bring it to Mexico City, you buy it, you eat it. It's not like the Canada, I'm from Canada. Everything in the grocery store is full of antibiotics and drugs and drugs and drugs and drugs and drugs. Drugs to keep it on the shelf, drugs to maintain it when it's moving, drugs to do this, drugs to do that. You know, and you wonder why there's high, high, uh, high depression rate in these countries. You know, it's like these people are drugged out of their mind. You can't even eat a piece of chicken without being, being drugged. But down here in Mexico, it's all fresh. So I like to buy some fresh food, eat it. Just move on. But having said that, though, every now and then I do buy, like, a, you know, a bag of, like, frozen hamburgers, you know. And that's where the sodium comes from. That's where I get all weird from. But, uh, but yeah, I'm just trying to switch it up a bit because it doesn't, doesn't feel good eating bad all the time, you know what I mean? It's fun. It's fun and it's easy because you can get in a lot of calories. And it's like, it's fun calories. You're like, oh, it's easy to eat all this. But then you wake up. Like, I woke up today, I just felt lethargic, you know? And I'm like, I'm not supposed to feel like this. I'm not supposed to be lethargic. I'm supposed to be on top of the world, you know? Because, yeah, I remember when I was, like, 19. I'm 27 now. When I was 19 years old, I had, like, this one year of my life where, like, I'd wake up and I'd have, like, eight scrambled eggs. I'd eat those. And then the rest of my day, I'd eat, like, uh, I'd have, like, a booster juice protein shake. I'd have Chipotle. I'd have, uh, I think just more Chipotle, man. It was either that. Oh, I'd make, I'd make, like, I'd get ground beef. I'd make tacos. It was one year of my life. I just had, like, a healthy regime. And I just cut out all the bullshit. And I felt like I was on top of the ward, you know, because my diet was just so good. Like, bro, if you can get yourself to a point where it's like good diet, good training, good sleep, you're going to feel like Hercules, bro. You're going to you're going to change the universe. You know, you don't need all the bullshit. People are trying to sell you on the Internet. Or just in general, you know, you don't need that extra like, oh, try this supplement, try that supplement. It's like, no, good food, sleep, and working out. That's all you need, man. But anyways, um, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna probably eat some more food soon. I think with the ground beef, I think I'm gonna make like pasta tonight, like the bolognese, you know what I mean? The bolognese pasta. Por favor, gracias, well. I'm going to make the bolognese pasta tonight. Because, yeah, pasta is a beautiful meal, by the way. Oh, yeah, also when I was 19, just my little rant back there, I, I ate a lot of pasta as well. Like, I just, I used to just, uh, just put a bunch of pasta in a pot, make it, eat half, put half in Tupperware, and then bring it with me to school. Or bring it with me to work. Whatever I was doing. And yeah, I'll be honest. It was kind of disgusting. It was just bland. It had no salt, no seasoning, no no sauce. It was very bland, but... 
if you want to get big, you got to eat big. You know, it's not about if you want to like actually get results, you can't be like, oh, I don't like the taste of, you know, Brussels sprouts on a Tuesday. You can't be too picky about things of that nature. You know, you just got to eat what you got to eat to get big. So anyways, I'm, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, so I'm two meals deep as of this video. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye. I don't want to know if you're playing me, keep it on the line. I'm here to talk about what happened with me and Dan Schneider 11 years ago. <laughs> so I walked into the studio and he, yeah, I walked into the studio and he just grabbed, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, so yeah, I'm just wrapping up the day. Um, it's, uh, it's like 11.30 o'clock p.m. in Mexico City. Um, um, just, uh, I ate so much pasta, man. Oh, my God. So, the last time I made a video, I ate a thing. I ate, like, a meatball sub. And then about, like, an hour later, I had a bag of chips. Just a small bag of chips. I'm sorry. I'm a human. I sin. Okay, I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. No, but honestly, on on a very realistic note, it's okay to have some bad food every now and then. I mean, it's if you have it every day, you're gonna feel bad, and your body's gonna. That's your body's way of telling you, like, hey, this is bad. But uh, and you're gonna get fat. You know what I mean? You're gonna start to look bad as well. But every now and then, you know, I dabble in a bit of this and that. Had a bag of chips, whatever. They're called they're called tortas. It's a bag of chips down in Mexico. It's called tortas. I don't know. It's it's like better chips. It's like because they have like Doritos and Ruffles and all those brands down here in Mexico. But there's these chips called tortas. It's like a Mexican brand, and the chips taste more natural. I think they, they taste more natural. So I had a bag of chips. And then uh, 
And then about an hour after that, I bought two bags of pasta. And then I just threw those bags of pasta into hot water. And I made a big ass, big, massive pot of bolognese. Got some ground beef, got some sauce, mixed it up, made a big ass bowl of pasta, man. Like I made two ser I made like five servings, bro. I'm just saying I fed I made it for me and my, my wife, but but I it was like five servings. Like it was just so much food. It was in a big pot. It looked comical. It looked like it was, it was out of a cartoon or something. I should have took a picture. But anyways, I just hammered down like five, I think full four different bowls, like small bowls of it. And yeah, I just yeah. So I'm feeling very satiated. I'm feeling very like tired. You know what I mean? I kind of eat to put myself to bed in a weird way. Like not, not actually, but I'm just saying when I eat a lot before bed, I sleep way better. So, so I just, I like to eat like two hours before bed, you know? But yeah, no, we looking good. We're looking good right now. We're looking good. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do arm day. I hate arm day. Whatever. I'm gonna do an arm day. I'll show you the scar. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me put some light on it. That's my scar. I'm scarred for life. I'm like Darth Vader, man. I'm like Darth Vader in this bitch, man. Everyone wants to be Anakin Sky. I mean, Luke Skywalker, Obi Wan. Those guys are losers, bro. Those guys are losers. Even when I was a kid, I was like, bro, Anakin Skywalker's a gangster, bro. He turned into Darth Vader. This Obi Wan guy's a fucking loser. Why do you want to do things by the book, bro? Obi-Wan looks like Jesus Christ. But anyways, I'm sorry. It's going off topic. Um, But no, yeah, I'm still scarred. You know, it's still... It's probably never going to go back to complete normal. But I'm pumping the shit out of it. I don't overdo it. I lift about 25 pounds seated curling. Um, I'm going to keep going up incrementally go up maybe 30 pounds 45 or 35 pounds 40 pounds 45 pounds keep gaining weight but right now i'm just doing what i can just to get the blood flowing you know what i mean but anyways tomorrow's gonna be arm day i'm gonna go to the black market here in mexico city in the morning uh, it's called Tepito. I kind of want to record some footage there, but I don't know. The people who work there, everything that's there is illegal. Being sold, everything's illegal. And so people are very jumpy about pulling out cameras and shit, pulling out phones, pulling out cameras. I mean, not only is the stuff illegal, like there's like fake, like clothes, like this is fake. This is fake Michelin Ness, right? I bought this in Tepito. That's not a big deal. But there's also, and, and, That's the stuff they don't want on camera. And they also sell crocodiles for some reason. And jaguars, you know, it's Mexico. They sell crazy shit. So yeah, I might not get too much footage there. But when I get back home, I'll be sure to get some good footage. Then I'll go do the arm day. So yeah, I think that concludes the day, man.
I think I might start doing videos like this now, to be honest, man. This feels really comfortable. Because I have, like, uh... I thought, I thought walking around while I'm doing my videos would, like, kind of inspire my thoughts you know i feel like when i'm moving my thoughts are better but i feel like sitting down gives me more time to think you know so i'm probably going to do the videos like this from now on like just like do like a video like this exercise and then do a video like this kind of conclude the day but yeah, just to, just a conclusion right now. Woke up, had a sandwich, meatball sub, big meatball sub. Um, bag of chips, and then just so much pasta, man, so much pasta. Bit of an Italian style day. But yeah, I I definitely feel a lot more like a float that I'm eating pasta, and meatball sub. Because, I don't know, man, the past week or so, I've just my go-to, like I said earlier, was the hamburger, you know. And I smashed that down sometimes two times a day. Then I smashed down, like, some wings, and wings are just bad for you. Like, I don't know what, I mean, it just depends. If you go to the market and you buy fresh wings, those are fine for you, man. But the wings I buy have some breading, so it kind of makes it fat. You don't need to consume bread, you know, like breading on wings or breading on anything, really. You don't got to consume that. And so that's where I'm kind of headed in the bad direction. I can't be eating these wings and hamburgers, bro. It sounds so good in my head. I'm like, oh, I'm going to come home from my workout and eat all this food and get big. You know, and you eat the food and you feel like a, you feel like a trucker. You, know, you feel like a, one of those big truckers, you know, big belly. Pot belly truckers, man. I don't want to look like a trucker. Not right now. Not right now. I looked like a trucker before, bro. I used to, you know, be kind of fat. Um, that's one thing I've I've experienced in my life is I used to be really skinny, and then I got kind of like built, and then I got fat. Then I went back to skinny, built skinny built you know i kind of just bounce back and forth but this is me getting built for the probably the fifth time and i'm bringing you guys on the journey with me but yeah i'm gonna wrap this up man it's it's late you know it's late in mexico city because it's just silent outside it's just an eerie silence, bro. It's not like, uh, y'all, like 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 11 p.m., there's music outside and there's, uh, kids playing, dogs barking, um, trucks driving. And then, like, past 11 p.m., it just gets dark and eerie, you know? A lot of people say Mexico City's haunted. Might be. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.